What's going on guys? It's me, uh, Namir. I know I haven't uploaded in like four months, but um, I decided to upload because I ordered a new keyboard. Uh, this is a Razer Huntsman Mini. Uh, my Amp Pro was kind of messed up right now. It wasn't working like it when I moved it a lot. The, the cable like completely messed up like with the cable plugs in. Decided to order this new keyboard. Uh, it comes with these linear optical switches, the red ones. These ones are nice. These aren't the clicking ones. Uh, they're the linear, so they're red, and they're like one of the fastest keys out. So I decided to spend my money on it. I got keycaps too, but they're gonna be coming later. So I decided to do an unboxing of this. Let's go. Oh. Alright, wide open. Alright, the box comes with some like instructions, I guess. And like a. Oh, this is nice. <clears throat> and this is the keyboard right here. Right, this is the cable. The packaging is super nice, like compared to like the AM Pro where it was like moving around and everything. Too. Okay, this is the cable inside right now. Keyboard. So it's like plastic. Uh. It's back. Mm. Alright, so this is a cable. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, oh, and it comes with this. Oh, this is this is way better than having the other thing. It's a pretty long cable, I'd say. Uh, braided. This is USB C. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I, I I like this compared to the one that comes with the M Pro. Obviously, the cheap red one. This one's a lot better. So this is the M Pro right here. This is the uh, Razer. Um, they're about the same size, obviously. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like these linears a lot better. They're quieter, too, a lot quieter than the browns. Uh, the reason I got browns was because I heard, like, they're tactile. Like, before I had blues, they were super loud, but these are a little bit quieter than than the uh, browns I meant in the uh, obviously the blues those are super clicky uh, I like the tactile feel of these but this these have like a, they don't have a bump but, but I feel like for gaming they're gonna feel a lot better than the browns so, so yeah the size is I like the size right here and also, one thing with the Ampro is the lighting super like dim. It's not bright at all. Like I don't think I even had lighting on my Ampro. Uh, I might turn on the lighting for this. I know the white one probably because uh, there's a white version of this keyboard, and uh, if the lights probably are a lot better on the white one. Okay, now that that's completely the same. For typing, this one's better, but but for gaming, I feel like this one's gonna be a lot better. All right, I'm gonna plug it in. I'll show you guys. All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, I set up the keyboard and everything. So uh, I got a lighting on too. Uh, I put it to white on my <clears throat> on my camera. It looks blue. That's actually like white. 
in person. Um, so uh, yeah, I was right. The lighting options, you have a lot, a lot more lighting options and the keyboard is a lot brighter compared to the Amp Pro. Uh, one thing I'm going to have to get used to is the Amp Pro was like odd, like it was raised. Like I can, I can make the keyboard raised and make it the same as the Amp Pro, but I think I'm going to get used to it being lower. One thing I have to say is the Amp Pro is definitely a lot heavier than this keyboard. Now, I don't know, it's because, it's because this is metal. I mean, sorry, this, they're both plastic, but this keyboard is like a lot thicker than this one. Um, I don't, I don't know why, but like, this one feels like it's not as cheap as this one, but I feel like since this is like a Chinese brand and isn't well known, uh, compared to like Razer, I feel like this keyboard has a lot, it has the software, which is a lot better than the, the software that comes with the M Pro. Uh, the, the cable is a lot better. Uh, because it like the way it attaches is like it slots in right here as you can see uh, so when like say like somehow you like tug uh, on the cable it won't rip this way and won't break the cable I'll, I'll, I'll break out this way so that's good um, that's a huge plus because I feel like that's why this this keyboard stopped like working for me is because the way they have this design is it, it could easily break the cable if you you know tug on it and it breaks off but this one is a lot better so i can show you guys the software right here um turn on my camera bigger so yeah, this is the software it comes with. Uh, this software is, it's like for a software, it's pretty okay compared to the Amp Pro software that you get. It's a hundred times better. Uh, I can say that right now. Um, the options you have for lighting are pretty nice. So this is <clears throat> ambient awareness. There's uh, audio meter. So like when you talk, probably it changes. There is breathing which is obvious you can have two colors for that that's that's pretty nice you can have random color too uh there's fire oh sorry i want to see what this one looks like oh th yeah this one's pretty nice i like this one it's like red and orange and yellow just going through that's pretty nice there's reactive which is probably Oh, it's just when you click on it, it lights up. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, there's ripple, which is probably when you click on it, there's a ripple effect. Uh, some people like this. Um, go through some of these. I like this one as well. Nice colors, bright colors. So yeah, uh, if you guys want like lighting, if you're super into lighting, I recommend getting the white one because the light probably will pop out a hundred times better than the black one. But I like having like this. Um, I don't like having it too bright, like having like the light just right so it isn't too much is always nice for me. So yeah, I'm going to keep it on white, uh, static, yep. So yeah, and you can change the brightness too, which is a huge, huge up for me. The lighting is a lot better on this keyboard, a hundred times better. The keys feel super nice. That's one thing I've noticed even when starting on my PC. Uh, the keys just feel super, super nice. Uh, so we can get into a game real quick. I'll load Fortnite. <laughs> All right, so I haven't played Fortnite in like four months, whatever. Uh, but, but I'd say like, compared to the Amp Pro, it's a hundred times faster. Like, like, look at that. Like, I could not do that on the Amp Pro.
like editing and movement like if you guys are looking for a 60% this is definitely a crowd. 100% Super fast. Like I barely even play this game anymore, and like I just feel super confident with the keyboard. Yeah, this this keyboard is super nice. <clears throat> One thing is like I actually jumped a few times. So guys, yeah, basically in conclusion, I think this keyboard is super nice, uh, especially good for gaming and um, in general, just a great keyboard overall. Um, I think it's worth the price. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.